Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's the day I'm about to drill some holes in my brand new front bumper. We got the sides done, we got the rear done, and now it's time for the front. If you guys didn't already see the video, I did swap out my front bumper cover for a brand new front bumper from Painted OEM Parts. It looks like a completely new car to me because the front end was just so hacked up. I'm gonna pull the car inside, I'm gonna take the bumper back off, I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom of it. A lot of the holes on the splitter line up with the factory holes that are already on the bumper, so it should be pretty easy to line up, get it where we want it, and get that thing installed. Let's go ahead and get started. So here it is, this is the V2 front splitter from Flow Designs for the VA chassis, WRX, and STI. Basically the V1 is a similar design. I think it's a little bit shorter in here and it doesn't have this little notch out of it. I like the notch in this, it's aggressive looking. I think it's gonna look great with these extensions and the winglets, it's gonna just wrap everything around really nicely. There's all these holes that are gonna be used to drill through the bumper. Some of these are gonna line up to the factory holes. And then we have these pre-threaded inserts that we're gonna use for the extensions and the winglets on the side. All right, so I have the bumper off now. I got it up on a bumper stand so I can see everything that I'm doing. Get that lip lined up. I think these holes are gonna be reused right here these front two because they are used with the OEM lip and probably these holes back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the lip up, run some bolts through these holes to hold it in place, and then I will drill all the holes that I need to drill. Flow Designs does give you all the hardware that you need to install the splitter. If you get the extra winglets or the uh, extensions, it's gonna come with all the hardware that you need. Okay, so that was the factory holes, the ones here on the side and the two in the middle. You can kind of get an idea of how it's going to look. I really like this kit. This looks so good. I really like it. Now there is a little bit of adjustability because the hardware is a little bit smaller than the bolt holes. So with the factory bolt holes, you can see I can kind of move this around quite a bit. So you're seeing there's quite a bit of movement there. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to pull everything out as far as I can get it tighten down the bolts and once I have all four of these tightened down then I'll go around drill all my other holes. So I'm using a 5 30 seconds allen key or hex bit on my impact. I'm using a 10 millimeter wrench on the locking nut on the back. On the accessories when you're using the threaded inserts you don't want to use an impact. You just want to get them hand tight. You don't want to over tighten those. Just be mindful of that but I am going to crank these suckers down and then I'm gonna grab my drill bit. Okay, so I have all those torqued down nice and tight. I am going to take now a 5 16 drill bit and drill out all these holes. I'm gonna go around, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes to drill. So once you have your holes drilled, you're gonna take one of your bolts, put a washer over it, and then you're gonna run it through, put a washer on the back side, and then your 10 millimeter nut and then just crank it down. Okay, I have all those torqued down super tight. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna grab the extensions and the winglets. We are going to take those. They all came with hardware. We're gonna put them in those threaded inserts and install those. So here I've just loosely fitted the extension without tightening anything down because we're gonna put that side winglet on, but here you can get a good idea of what it looks like with this extension. If you opt in to get some of these, you can see what it adds there to the lip. It looks really cool. You can actually slide it pretty much the whole way in if you just want something really subtle, or you can pull it out as far as it'll go, and that gives you a really nice aggressive look, and it kind of adds to this little shape going on here. I think that looks really sick. It's really aggressive. On this side without it, it still looks good, but it just it adds that extra level of aggression. It looks really, really nice. So I'm going to install these on both sides, grab those winglets, uh, decide how I want to have them sit, and then we'll tighten everything down. So I do have this side tightened down pretty much exactly where I want it so you guys can see how that will be sitting at the end product. And then over here I left this one loose so we can see all the adjustments you can kind of make. So again, we can slide this all the way in or slide it the whole way out. And then you could either leave your diffuser in, you could slide that in and just pull the winglet out. You could push the winglet in, slide that out so that you got a little bit of adjustment here. You could actually have that down in and still have this pulled out. Or you could push this in and pull this out without having this come out the whole way. So there's a couple different adjustments you could make. You could kind of angle the way your winglet is. I'm just going to keep the winglet straight. I'm going to have this the whole way out. I think that looks really cool. So nice and aggressive. And normally I don't go for all this like craziness but I think I like it I'm gonna roll with it if I don't like it it doesn't take more than a couple seconds to just get back under there and readjust it so it shouldn't be bad at all so that is install complete we can put the bumper back on but uh, 
I'm gonna take a little detour here. I think I'm gonna cut these fins out and I'll put my plate back on here, but I'm not cutting all this out again. That was a really dumb idea. I'm going to leave all this intact. I'm not even gonna worry about cutting this out. I just wanna cut enough of this out that you can see the intercooler again, get a little bit better airflow and call it a day. Oh my God, guys, this thing looks freaking fantastic. This is awesome. I trimmed out just a little bit for the intercooler, same way I had the old setup. I ended up doing my little textured plate for the intercooler like I did uh, before, and it worked out really well. It matches these textured extensions really nicely. My expansion like rivet nuts got stuck in my old cut up part of my bumper, of my old bumper. So I use these little pop clips for now. I have a custom plate coming for the car though that I'm probably just gonna replace this parent one with. I did swap out the grill. If anybody noticed, I took out my carbon fiber grill and put in this uh, JDM OEM style grill. I like this a lot. The front end of this car looks so good now. Oh my God, I cannot thank you enough Flow Designs. This thing looks insane. Uh, just so much better. I haven't had a lip on this car for a long time. And as you guys can see, it was getting harder and harder and harder to install any kind of lip or splitter or diffuser or anything on the front of this car. It just looked naked and now it looks complete again. This looks really good. There's just enough of the intercooler showing. The front end of this car is just, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with it again. I was really in a place where I was like not so happy with it and completely changed in oh, yeah. two days. Well guys, I have had the Flow Designs front splitter kit on my car for about a week now. It's still holding up really good. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. This thing looks incredible. I want you to see where I cut out for the intercooler with the new grill and the front splitter. So I'm gonna show you guys that all right now. Check out this Billetworks front plate. Oh my God, I love that. That looks so cool. There's the grill that I swapped out for the carbon grill in the last video when I installed this new front bumper. But there you can see it. The front bumper is holding up really, really well. This front splitter kit is holding up really well. I absolutely love this kit. And I want you guys to know something before I end today's video. I know that Flow Design sent me out the splitter kit, but I want you guys to know that I'm not BSing you. If a company sent me out a discounted product, I wouldn't talk about it to you guys. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't say it's great if it wasn't great. I wouldn't, you know, if I thought it was mediocre, I would tell you that. If I thought it was garbage, I would tell you that. Whether, you know, it was something that was sponsored or discounted or whatever. I just want you guys to know that because I've actually had a couple companies reach out to me and send me stuff to you know, do an install video or do a review for them. And they've sent me out the items and I've literally emailed them back and been like, hey, this is garbage. I'm not gonna promote this to my viewers. I don't wanna advertise trash. You know, I don't, want, I don't wanna tell everybody that this is really good when it sucks. I don't wanna rub my name in the dirt like that and have people not trust me. And uh, so I just want you guys to know that before you know, we end today's video. I hope you guys, I, I hope you guys already know that or at least assume that. Uh, but I do just want to clarify that, that I'm not just going to say something's good just because, you know, the company wants me to. I genuinely like all these products. I just want you guys to know that I, I picked everything that I picked because they were good companies, they're reputable companies, and they make really good products. And then when I got my hands on the products, it just told the rest of the story. But also, don't forget, I appreciate you guys for checking out the video, for, for watching, for, you know, keeping up to date with all my stuff, and for all the support and all the comments. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.